All right, boys. Welcome back to the channel. Um, today they dropped some Super Bowl fantasy packs in the store. Now I was a little ill prepared for this, as I wasn't really expecting anything to be dropped at the beginning of the week, just because they just dropped Team of the Year, and usually Tuesdays they do Team of the Week, but because. That promo is done. I just didn't really expect them to have anything ready. But uh, they dropped these, so I figured we'd test them out. Um, I have to sell some stuff off from my binder because I bought some stuff on the weekend. Like I said, I was in a rush to get rid of it. But with these packs dropping, um, the prices are a little lower than they usually are. So I'm going to have to do this in parts because... I don't want to lose too much coins just because I'm trying to sell off things too quickly. Anyways, let's get into this, see how these packs are. Okay. Power up. It's not really. Oh, two power ups. Larry Allen, though. I don't think he's worth anything, though. Oof, that is pretty awful pack. Yikes. Heard some people saying these were pretty crazy. Eighty six, okay, that's pretty good. Too many golds, like way too many golds. Okay, a legend. Eighty four, another gold. Power up. I don't know, these seem like trash to me, but Okay, big legend. 89, Larry Allen. I've seen nothing that would make me think we're going to make our money back. And this is all gold. You gotta be kidding me. Is this a fucking joke? Like, and I pulled the same fucking Super Bowl card every fucking pack. Apparently people were saying these packs are lit. I mean, at this point, we're gonna sell off some stuff and rip the rest of them, but so far they look like absolute trash, so we'll see. Be right back. Okay, boys, so continuing on, we're gonna pull the, re the rest of these Legend Super Bowl Fantasy packs. Hopefully they go better on these three. Okay, an elite. Patrick Card. Okay, three elites in the first round, not bad. 
88. Sorry, I've pulled them on every pull. Okay, 93 Chad. That's pretty good. It's our best pull so far. A little fuller. Jan Richard. See some color other than gold. Carlton Davis. Please be a full one. 82. At least it's an elite. Patrick Queen. And a uh, low legend. 86, though. It's pretty good. And four four. Uh, and a low legend. Okay. 92, though. That's some low legend. <laughs> okay. An 89 in the first round. It's pretty good. And a Thanksgiving card, 83. This could be good. It's not, though. 75. And okay, that's it. So, 86 Joe Flacco and a low legend, 91 though. Eighty-nine, ninety-one, eighty-three. Okay, pretty good. I don't think we're making any money off these packs because of the market crash. I think people are pulling a lot crazier stuff than we are. But we're going to pull the rest of these, see what's up. At least we'll know next week if we want to get into it or not, if they drop more. Okay. So. We sold off some stuff. Let's do the last four of these packs. I don't think we've managed to get any kind of profit off of any of these packs yet. So let's hope those last four give me at least some positives because I know some other people were pulling some insane stuff from this. William Jackson. Not getting a ton in these first rounds, which is kind of sad to see. Okay, an 85. Eighty-seven. Okay, big lights. Ninety-four. Okay, I will take that. Uh, it seems like the Super Bowl card is always bad, though. I've never seen anything I think above an eighty-eight, which is kind of insane. Power up, Zach Ertz, team of the week, DK. Ooh, coin quick sell. 80 only. Marquise Palsy. Okay, these are a lot of elites. Why can't they all be like this? Full one? Okay, A Rod. We've got to take, take the coin quick sell. Take DK. And, wait, no. Austin Gerber. Okay. Anything good? Nope. Big lights, though. 95 Rich Cannon. Okay. That's a lot better. Now we're talking. Now we got a little juice. Say a win. Tyron Crawford. 87. Yeah, 87 Landon Collins. That's a good pull. And no other elites? Nothing. Okay, so obviously we're going to take Landon Collins and let's do Josh Norman. Come on, big one, 87. And a small legend. Ah, 90 at least. Something. I got to say, I'm still not... I'm surprised that these caused such a market crash because, like, I haven't seen 
anything overly crazy. And like you can only pull legends and the Super Bowl cards in the final round. And like I said, like I haven't seen anything but an eighty eight for the Super Bowl cards, so I'm just surprised that they made this much of an impact on the market. But I don't know. Apparently other people are pu pulling some crazy stuff, so <clears throat> it is what it is. Okay, a 90 and an 89. So we're going to take the 90. I mean, definitely not overly impressed. Uh, like I said, oh, I'm overall very shocked that they had such an impact on the market. I'm sure other people were playing way better stuff than me, but I just don't think they're as special as they would seem. I think what it was is mostly just people saw a new pack, they got excited, they ripped all of them, and because everyone had those cards to sell off, and they are all selling them off at the same time, the market crashed. But overall, the pack itself is eh. 75k I think I lost probably 100k after I ripped all of them so not terrible but definitely not overly exciting I think they were a little bit overhyped <clears throat> I mean if the final round could give you a little bit of a different mix of cards I think they would be a lot more exciting give you that chance to pull the team of the years I think I would be all in on these, but the fact that you're really only pulling Legends and one Super Bowl card, which is almost always under a 90, is a bit of a tough sell for 75,000 coins, I think, but it is what it is. Pull them at your own risk. Um, I'll probably end up playing them in our rotation of packs that I am willing to open, because they're at least not 100k, but I'm definitely going to think about it before I do it. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to drop a like on the video. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing so you can stay up to date with our newest content. Until next time, boys, have a good one.